Hello, my YouTube friends. So many people are using Zoom for live meetings these days and everyone wants to be unique. Using a custom virtual background can be one way to make your Zoom broadcast really stand out. And you don't need a green screen. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for new ways to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. First things first, we gotta make sure you have your virtual background turned on in settings. And this is located in the Zoom settings through your browser, not in the app. Here in Zoom, if you wanna get to the settings, you can just click on this little gear in the top right and then click more settings. It will bring up your settings in your browser. And now all you need to do is scroll down until you see the virtual background and you want to make sure that it's blue over here on the right using this slider and you want to allow use of videos for your backgrounds or not it's up to you now that we have virtual background enabled i'm going to click on new meeting and i'm going to join with computer audio that's fine and then i'm going to go down here and click this little up arrow make sure my camera selected and then select choose virtual background and you can have a green screen you can just select that right here or if you don't you can just select an image and this is the message you're going to get download smart virtual background package and you're going to need this if you want to add the virtual background without a green screen so just click download and once you do it will automatically add it there and you know when you look at it this looks pretty good especially for no green screen we'll try out some of the different backgrounds and that's nice too we got one in space because we like to be in space sometimes and now we have these video ones down here so you can actually add a video or you can use a video as your virtual background and here's how you do it you click this little plus you go to add image or add video and you select which one you want you just browse to the location on your hard drive where you have your video or your static background file and once you find it you just select it and click open and that becomes your background looking pretty good I really like how this turns out it's nice now you can go down here and you can unmirror or mirror it if you end up wearing a shirt with text on it, you may not want it mirrored or you may want it mirrored depending upon how it looks on your screen. So just keep in mind that you can flip that anytime you want. Now you can also click none if you wanna turn off your virtual background anytime you want. Now some of the issues you're gonna run into with your virtual background, let's put on this Aurora Borealis one here. You're gonna see a little bit of ghosting around the edges. And this can get really weird when you're using headphones or something like that. When I put my headphones in, you can see the wire for my headphone disappears. You can see in the circle on my hand there that the green screen's not coming through. So you're gonna get some weird things. And if I move my headphones around, you can see it'll actually create a little line next to my neck. You can see there, my finger totally disappears. My hand, when I move in front of the background, doesn't really show up as well as it could or should. Hey, you know what? It's doing all this on the fly without a green screen. It's pretty doggone awesome. But just be aware that it's definitely not going to be perfect. And some people might find it actually distracting. So keep that in mind. There are some machine requirements for using the virtual background without a green screen. And if your machine won't handle it, it's gonna let you know with a little error message telling you all that. If you wanna see what the requirements for Windows or Mac are, you can check this page right here. The requirements for using an actual green screen for this process are much lower. If you have a question about using the Zoom virtual green screen, leave a comment and let me know. And if you wanna see how to add multiple cameras to your Zoom setup, check this video out. Always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber? Subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.